The Russian authorities have arrested Vadim Shamarin, the head of the country's main directorate of communications, for alleged involvement in a bribery case, officials have told Russian media. Shamarin, who is also the deputy to the chief of the general staff, is the fourth senior Russian defense official said to have been arrested in criminal cases in April and May. An official with the 235th Garrison Military Court said on Thursday, as quoted by several Russian media outlets, that Lt. Gen. Shamarin is suspected of receiving an especially large bribe. If found guilty, the official faces up to 15 years in prison. The 53-year-old general has served as the head of Russia's main directorate of communications since 2021. He is also a deputy to the chief of the general staff, Valery Gerasimov. The court official said, as quoted by RBK, that Shamarin was detained for two months on Wednesday. Commerson reported, citing sources, that the Russian authorities had conducted a search as part of a bribery case, adding that the lieutenant general had been taken in for questioning to the main military investigative office of Russia's investigative committee. US fears Russian counter space weapons may attack other satellites. The United States Space Command suggests that the satellite launched by Russia last week is a weapon capable of attacking other satellites in low Earth orbit. According to a United States Space Command representative in a conversation with journalists, Russia deployed this new counter space weapon into the same orbit as a US government satellite. We have observed nominal activity and assess it is likely a counter space weapon presumably capable of attacking other satellites in low Earth orbit, Pentagon Press Secretary Major General Pat Ryder has claimed. This involves the deployment of at least nine satellites in low Earth orbit, including Cosmos 2576, which is described as a type of Russian military inspector spacecraft. These satellites were launched into space by the Russian Soyuz rocket from the Plesetsk Cosmodrome on May the 16th. This mix of military and civilian payloads was totally unexpected. Never seen that before on a Russian launch, said Bart Hendricks, a longtime analyst tracking Russia's space program. An American official familiar with the intelligence data explained that US services anticipated the launch of Cosmos 2576 and informed allies of their assessment of the satellite before its deployment in space. The US intelligence report said that Cosmos 2576 resembled previously deployed Russian anti-satellite payloads from 2019 and 2020. Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryabkov rejected the Pentagon's claims as misinformation. I don't think we should be responding to every fake coming from Washington, he told journalists. The Russian space program is developing smoothly and includes launches of spacecraft for various purposes, including those that solve the issues of strengthening our defense capabilities, the diplomat said. However, he reiterated that Moscow consistently opposes the deployment of strike weapons in low Earth orbit. The Americans may say whatever they want, 
but Russia's policy on the issue will not change, Ryabkov stressed. If the US really wanted to achieve security in space, it would have reconsidered its destructive approach and accepted Russia's proposal to develop a treaty on the prevention of an arms race in outer space, he said.